2013 Play Juggling Silex Implosion Ballistic Missile Strike Championships was held in December at the 2013 World Juggling Federation Convention at the Rio All Suites Expensive Water and Pastry Resorts in Las Vegas, Nevada. From World Juggling Entertainment's Performance Showcase, Major League Combat, and the World Juggling Federation's Championship Juggling Competitions, the Silex Implosion Ballistic Missile Strike Competition attracts the best jugglers in the world due to its non-practicable element unless you own 100 Play Juggling Silex Implosion Balls and have five friends to help you train. Volvo Galchenko, Thomas Dietz, and Jason Garfield competed in the finals of this one and only test of a juggler's survival strengths and techniques. Volvo Galchenko started the competition off lasting 1.3 seconds from the point of launch. In his second attempt, the 2011 WJF overall champion survived a total of 3.8 seconds from the point of launch and almost maintained control over his munitions. In his third and final round, Volvo took several steps back and lost all his junk and a bag of chips after less than one second. With Volvo out of the way, World Juggling Federation president and 50% shareholder of the 2013 WJF Best Body Award, Jason Garfield had an unobstructed path to the 2013 Play Juggling Silex Implosion Ballistic Missile Strike Championship, the real reason he created the World Juggling Federation. Mr. President nearly destroyed the competition on his first attempt, unaffected by the Silex Implosion Ballistic Missile Strike and succumbing to an unforced error. It's rare that you can combine military and sports metaphors, but that's exactly what the Silex Implosion Ballistic Missile Strike Championship is. Sport War. Oh sure, there are some who think war is an art, but here at the World Juggling Federation, our sports are wars, and our wars are sport, and our art is reserved for our logo. Moving on. President Warmonger did much worse in round two, failing due to an inability to stretch his bones on demand. Many of us can stretch our bones over an extended period of time, but to expect to turn into Mr. Fantastic for the first time in your life while at war with Silex Implosion Balls at the 2013 World Juggling Federation Convention is just bug nuttiness. So yeah, that didn't happen, and Garfield was now two in the hole. But in round three, Garfield's five Silex Implosion Balls up against six propulsion systems firing 100 Silex Implosion Balls parabolically arced and aimed directly at the president's reflective head. Barely survives the attack, maintains control over his munitions, and becomes the first legitimate champion of the competition he created. Think it was rigged? Leave it in the comments disabled field below. As you can tell, the crowd was extremely excited that Garfield did very well. But the competition was not over yet. 2005 to 2008 WJF overall champion Thomas Dietz returned to the WJF competitions after a five year retirement, allowing time for his brittle bones to recover and all for the play juggling Silex Implosion Ballistic Missile Strike Championship. Thomas entered the competition arena, commandeering the same five toxic green Silex Implosion Balls Jason Garfield used to become the first ever survivor of the Silex Implosion Ballistic Missile Strike Championship launched them into an infinite loop formation. Soon thereafter, the football was open, the launch codes entered. Tom Cruise did not hit the abort button in time, but Thomas Dietz in an unorthodox anti-missile defense pattern evades all 100 bunker-busting attempts and becomes the first play-juggling Silex Implosion Ballistic Missile Strike survivor to return from battle unscarred, untouched, and undefeated. Thanks to Play Juggling for providing the ammunition for the Silex Implosion Ballistic Missile Strike Competition. 100% Italian-made juggling equipment built to last. Go to playjuggling.com to get your Silex Implosion Balls and start training for the 2014 Silex Implosion Ballistic Missile Strike Championship this year being held at SkillCon at the Riviera Hotel in December, Las Vegas, Nevada.